Tyler Warner, first three-time state champ, first two-time state champ, one of about 37,000 state champs uh, when you were an individual as a freshman for a claim out. What's it feel like to be the you know first um, three-time state champ? It's awesome, you know, just being the first one to do it. Uh, coaches, head coach Eric Tokenin, uh he's always wanted a, a, a four-timer, and, uh, you know, that kind of just that kind of pushed me to to do that, you know. I mean, he's getting old and stuff, and, uh, you know, I mean, I don't know how much more coaching he has, but I want to be the only one for a long time to be the first four-timer. And... You guys are tough, man. The pinstripes, I see him come out there, I get scared. I got cross face cradled by a Claymont guy when I was about 15 years old. I never liked it. I haven't liked you guys since, but just tough. <laughs> you like me, though. I like you, though. Yeah, but looking at that, Tariq Wilson beat you last weekend. Yeah. Four to one in the district final. You embarrassed know, me. Embarrassed you. The whole place went nuts. And you've probably never lost to a guy down in your area, have you? You know what? Since my freshman year, when Tyreek Wilson beat me in a duel, that's the only Ohio kid I've lost since then. Really? I've never lost to an Ohio kid until last weekend at the state, I mean, districts and finals. And Mejia is like the last guy to beat you. The, yeah, he was the last guy to beat me, and then he beat me again. Yeah. But you know what? He beat me my freshman year in a duel. I wrestled him the, the week later. He beat me 6 to 9. First match, I beat him 12 to 1. The second match, and then wrestled him two weeks after that and beat him 14 to 1. I knew what I was going to do in the state finals, and that's it's better than him beat me then and here. Cause, uh, You'll take that district yeah, loss? I don't care. Looking at the match with Stickley yesterday, crazy match, man. You win that thing on a locking hands, he, then he has to cut you loose. Yeah. But that, that match, there's injury times. It's it's a crazy match. He starts to come back, and he's gonna gonna gram you, yep. gonna gram Falcon you, you know, come from behind, beat you. But that third period, what's that like? Short time left. You, he takes you down. You gotta get an escape. What's going through your mind? Uh, you know, I got I was dead that match. Like I said, I haven't practiced for a long time. Uh, uh I, I I went out on a mat, uh, wanting to score a lot of points. So I got a three point lead and um, just. He, I think he went neutral second period. No, yeah. third. Third period, went yeah. Neutral third period, and uh, he got and, out. And on the injury. Yeah. On the injury, he went neutral, didn't he? Yeah. He on went, your second yes. injury, her nope. choice, I was like, oh, what no, happened? I think after I hit that cradle, I about had that cradle. His uh, his forehead was touching his knee, and I don't think he wanted to go back down. But when he took me down and tied it up, I looked at the clock, and there was 44 seconds left. And I told myself, I said, all right, he's going to ride me. And I knew what he had. All he has on top is a half. Everybody knows that. I'm not being caught or anything, but I knew that at least. Well, I was just, I was waiting for him to put that half in and go into stalemate because he wasn't, he bought turn me, but he wasn't going to turn me. So then I knew it'd be short time. I knew when I looked at the clock, there was 10 seconds and I just took a deep breath and I got out. And he locked hands about three times, you know. I, I did see a couple times yeah. where he was on your ribs clasping yep. and they missed it the first two times I thought. Yep. Yeah, they did. And then that third, in the third period, you know, to win the match. I didn't even know he, he got, I thought the score was four to three. I didn't know he locked hands. I didn't see that. I just got Then out. getting out. So when you got out, you thought you won. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't know, you know, him taking me down. I mean, him taking me down, I thought he was going to win it, but I didn't know it would tie it up. And... You've won everything. You won Iron Man. You won Top Gun. You won three state titles. What's next for you? Are we going to see you doing some off-season stuff? I don't see you ever in the freestyle stuff. Are we going to see you doing some off-season stuff? Uh, or is I'm, it break time? You know, you're, you took yeah, two injury times against yeah, Stickley. Yeah. You haven't practiced for, since two weeks ago. Yeah. Um, is it time to take some time off? Um, you know, my drill partner's kind of got me talked in uh, rest on Fargo and stuff, freestyle. And uh, he's been my drill partner since we were four years old, him and my brother. And uh, I think he's he's trying to get me into going with him to do that thing. So I think I'm thinking about it. Colleges, talk to me. Um, Last time we talked, I, I, I think we would, I, know I like to hear Kent State in there. You threw that in there. Yeah, but uh, NC State, Kent State, uh, Wheeling Jesuit, they're all over. That's where my brother goes. Uh, Coach Doyle's awesome. Um, He's a Ohio River Valley guy, too. Yep. OU, Missouri, here and here. You know, I mean, I don't know yet. I still have one more year. I guess we'll see what summer has with all these colleges. All right, you got anything else for me? There's some, some TV guy waiting to interview. I know they're way more important. <laughs> I ain't all about that. I don't think they on TV. All right, you got anything else for everybody? No, that's it. Congratulations on your third title. Thank you.